man has been arrested on murder-hate crime charges in a deadly shooting at a Colorado gay nightclub. I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman Tonight. According to the Los Angeles Times, a man suspected of killing five people and injuring 18 others in a shooting at a gay nightclub in Colorado has been arrested on suspicion of murder and hate crimes, according to court records. The man, identified by police as Anderson Lee Aldrich, 22, was arrested Monday on five counts of murder and five counts of bias-motivated hate crimes causing bodily injury, court records show. Police say he opened fire at Club Q in Colorado Springs just before midnight Saturday. He was quickly subdued by others at the club and taken into custody when police arrived a few minutes after receiving a call, authorities said. Once the case is turned over to us, we'll review the case and make formal charging decisions, said Michael Allen, district attorney for the 4th Judicial District in Colorado Springs. Formal charges we decide to file will be filed with the court. The case is being investigated as murder and potential bias-motivated crimes, Allen said. Colorado state law requires that defendants who are in custody on arrest warrants be advised within 48 hours of the charges they're facing. From there, prosecutors have roughly 10 days, uh, though, that can be extended in some circumstances to make formal filing decisions. Oftentimes, on cases like this, they can be a little quicker because we're so embedded with the investigation, Allen said. The suspect remains at the hospital in custody, said Max D. Onofario, a city spokesman. Eighteen people were injured in the attack, down from the original tally of 25 according to an update this past Monday afternoon from the Colorado Springs Police Department, all but one sustained gunshot injuries, police said. Authorities have not released the names of those who were killed, but family members of four victims have confirmed their loved one's death with the Times and with other media outlets. The U.S. Attorney for the District of Colorado said that it will review all available facts of the incident to determine what federal response is warranted. It is working with multiple local and national agencies, U.S. Attorney Cole Feingen said. We will work closely with District Attorney Michael Allen, with local enforcement, Mayor Shutters, and the Colorado Springs community to ensure the person who did this is brought to justice, Feingen said. At least two heroic people confronted the gunman and stopped the shooting, said Colorado Springs a Police Chief uh, Adrian Valsquez, adding, We owe them a great debt of thanks. One of the people in the bar took a handgun from the shooter and hit him with it. Colorado Springs Mayor John Shutter said in an interview with CNN. Southers called it an incredible act of heroism. Pardon me for mispronouncing the name a couple seconds ago. A patron identified as Joshua, who was in the bar, told local station KRDO-TV, as I was dancing on the floor, I heard uh, shots fired. I thought it was the music because there were no screams. There was no help, help. He ran into a dressing room when he realized what was going on, where he and others locked the door, turned out the lights, and got on the floor, he said. We heard everything. We heard more shots fired. We heard the assailant being beat up by someone that I assumed had tackled him. We heard the uh, police came in. We heard them yelling at him. The patron said, all I could think about is everything, my life, he said before breaking down in tears. Keone Moore, 20, who identifies as non-binary, is a DJ who worked at Club Q before recently moving to another club just across the street. He was working Saturday night and realized something was terribly wrong when he heard sirens and saw ambulances arriving at Club Q. Who is in there? Who is going to get out? Who am I not going to see anymore, he wondered. As of Sunday afternoon, he had heard that two friends and former co-workers had been killed. He said they were warm, funny. He said they were warm, funny, and helped make Club Q what it is. It was very welcoming. He said every time you came in, whether you were new or had been there for so long, there was never a stuck-up feeling. 
like you don't belong. Colorado Governor Jared Polis, who in 2018 became the first out gay man in the United States to be elected governor, said my heart breaks for the family and friends of those lost, injured, and traumatized in this horrific shooting. The gunman used an AR-15 style semi-automatic weapon in the shooting, the Associated Press reported. A handgun and ammunition magazines were also recovered at the scene, authorities said. Police ordered flags on all buildings in Colorado to be, um, police rather, ordered flags on all public buildings in Colorado to be flown at half staff for five days to honor each of the five who were killed. I'm Tyrone Bowman. Never surrender. Never quit.